guys, welcome to my second uh, iPhone SDK tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, play a movie from a server on the click of a button. So let's just get right into this file, new project, uh, view based, let's call it movie player. And by the way, later on I'm going to be making, probably tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to be making a uh, tutorial on how to play a movie uh, from within the bundle, from within the application. So expand your frameworks, resources, and classes. Uh, we're going to need to add a framework. So uh, click, uh, right click, add existing framework. Uh, make sure you guys are in this directory. So pause the movie right now. If you see a different directory other than this, all these, um, go into that directory. Uh, go into this directory, so just pause the movie and make it look like this. Okay, so we're going to need to choose the media player dot framework, add it. Um, don't worry, you can't, don't copy into because it won't let you. That's just going to make it alias. So we can go ahead and unexpand our frameworks now. Uh, go into your movie player view controller. Uh, we need to tell Xcode that we, we just uh, want to import that framework into our view controller. So media player slash media player dot H close it all up or oopsie okay now we need to add an action so dash parenthesis IB action close parenthesis uh, let's call it play button pressed and then a colon parenthesis ID close parenthesis sender lock it all up with the semicolon and let's go into our movie player view controller dot nib or zip or xib or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so what we're gonna do, you could drag over a UI button and you can connect the action to that. But just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna make a UI toolbar um, and then just put a flexible little thingy right there. And I'm gonna put play movie and then I'm gonna put uh, that's it. I'm going to put that. And then I'll just put a text field just to, I don't know, date of use. I'll just put a text field just to make it look dandy. Okay, so there we go. Apple S. Uh, we, we need to go into our document files owner and connect the action to the play movie. So you're not going to get in that touch up inside stuff because it's a UI bar button item. Um, so Apple S, then quit the application. Go into your movie player view controller dot M. We need to tell it what the action is going to be. So do we need to rewrite our action? So I B action close parenthesis play button pressed colon parenthesis I D close parenthesis sender. There we go. Uh, so let's just fix this up. What we're going to do, we need to make a string, an ns string. Um, and we're going to we're going to call this string our movie URL. And this string is going to be where our URL is going to be. So our movie URL, we're going to put the at quote uh, just paste your URL. So this is a movie I made just a second ago, as you can see, it is a movie because it ends with the .m4v, which is a video format. So close the quotes, and we're going to just put a semicolon to end the line. Uh, now we need to initialize our MP Movie Player controller. MP Movie Player controller. Uh, let's just name it Movie Player. Movie Player. There we go. Uh, we need to put equals. Uh, two brackets, MP, movie player controller, uh, allocate or alloc in it with content URL. Now we need to put a, another open bracket. We're going to put NS URL, uh, URL with string. The string is going to be the string right up here that we made, the movie URL. So just type in movie URL, close both brackets semicolon. Now we need to tell the movie to play automatically. So, I mean, when you click it, it's going to uh, open, but you're going to have to still press the play button. So let's just tell it to play automatically for the user. So movie, pl 
player and we're just going to put play or actually we forgot to close this up uh, so there we go everything's good now what you don't need to release this movie player or the movie URL unless you're planning on putting multiple play buttons for different movies then you're going to need to release it if you want to use the same name but other than that you don't really have to release anything so Apple S for saving it and build and go hopefully we don't got any errors no errors okay so click play movie let's just wait for the movie to load hey guys you guys are watching my uh... video tutorial for the iphone sdk uh... to make a uh, movie um, thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and I'm going to be doing another video very soon. Okay, so there you guys go. You just watched the movie. Here's our view that we just made. Uh, so as you can see, here's our uh, tab bar, our UI bar button item, and our little text view that we put in there. Um, so remember, you guys, later I'm going to be showing it you how to play a movie from within the bundle. So say you add a uh, movie over here. Uh, I'm probably going to release that tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to get this movie up tonight. And make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. I'm making them like crazy because I'm really, really bored. Uh, okay, so remember to subscribe. Comment below if you want a request. Like, say you don't know how to put an info button. Or say you don't know how to change views or anything like that. Comment below. I'd be more than happy to make a video for you. Uh, subscribe, please. And thank you very much for watching.